What's going on YouTube? I'm excited today because we're going to be doing a video lesson about how I condition my base fingerboard. Now, this is an important lesson because I don't feel like a lot of people touch on the importance of making sure that not only you unlock your fingerboard, but that you condition your fingerboard. So we're gonna to touch on that today. And it all starts with getting the strings off the instrument. So let me do that real fast. Dems right here, some boil me strings. I'm serious though, I'm not gonna throw these strings away. These strings are probably only about three weeks old. So they're definitely dead, but they're definitely not done. I would say that you can boil these strings and use them for at least another two or three weeks. I like using these strings for backups. I like using these strings for my side gigs, beach gigs. This is a good set to throw on there when I break a string. Um, however, you won't see me recording any any records with with these boiled strings however there's no sense in throwing away a, a $30 set of strings if you can get some use out of them there ain't nothing worse than getting a fresh pack of strings putting them on your base and breaking the g-string right when you're tightening them up at the end and that was the only pack of strings you have so now you're sitting there at your gig or wherever you are practice or whatever and you have no g-string uh, so you are back to playing the four string bass again and we all know that that's sad so just kidding. It's not sad to play four string bass. Keep playing the four string bass as long as you like. All right, before I show you about how I oil my fretboard, I'd like to talk about the item I use for that. Very crucial that you pay specific attention to the conditioner that you are going to be putting on your fretboard because it is, it's crucial. Before I show you what I use for conditioner, I would like to stress that you don't want to condition your fretboard very frequently. Some people like to condition their fretboard Every time they take the strings off, I am not one of those people. I condition my fretboard quarterly at most, if not seasonally, once before the summer and once before the winter. Really, I just do it when it feels like it needs it. Winter is almost over. It's starting to get a little bit more moist outside, and I can tell that my wood is not keeping up with the weather. So I'm going to do what I can, make some truss rod adjustments, add some conditioner to the fretboard. All right, enough about that. Do not use lemon oil for conditioning your fretboard. So many people like to put lemon oil on their, their instrument or, or like Dunlop sells lemon oil polish and whatnot. I just think that that's unnecessary. I don't know what that's doing to the wood exactly, but it doesn't need that. All I use is this food grade mineral oil right here, mineral oil. You can drink this stuff. You want conditioner that's food safe, colorless, odorless, tasteless and this is also gluten free if uh, you have any gluten allergies and um, are looking for a new cutting board mineral oil that's what this is specifically this is by cuttingboard.com this goes on your wooden cutting board it's as safe as it can get there's nothing in this all this is for is protecting and restoring wood surfaces and like I said I use it not very often the reason why I don't use it very often is because you remember when you were in ninth grade science class and they were talking to you about homeostasis and getting to be one with the things around you? You got semi-permeable membranes and all that good stuff. Well, that's the same thing with the base. If you're putting an outside oil on your base frequently and it's not lining up with the oils on your finger, then you're not reaching homeostasis with your base, man. You're not one with your instrument. You need to be one with your instrument. Enough about all that. Let's get some oil on the base. I do this twice a year. Very, very carefully, very carefully put it on the base. Just kidding. It's, you know, that's that's a lot of, lot of oil. There's plenty of oil right there on that strip. You can see if I had to amount it to tablespoons, it's probably, <laughs> it's probably like two or three tablespoons I just put it there. I just spread it out with a with a paper towel. Yes, yeah, some of it's going to come off, but essentially you just want to make sure it's evenly coated across that entire fretboard. Oh yeah, that's in there. Yeah, I got that everywhere. That's it's, it's as simple as it gets. At this stage, I'm not cleaning my fretboard because I'm pretty good about making sure my fretboard's clean. I don't need to scrub this thing clean or anything. I'm just getting some oil on there so it just freshens up a little bit. It also brings out. The, uh, and I don't think you'll be able to see this necessarily. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that. But it really makes the wood patterns inside my Mac Ebony fretboard really just kind of pump. I, I just love that. Especially since I went with a design without inlays. 
still, that was just me kind of wiping it in. We're going to give this about five minutes, and then basically I'm going to come in here. I'm going to take it all off. All right, it's been about five minutes. I'm going to get this oil off my fingerboard. Just as simple as it goes on, it comes off. It's a little bit tighter grip. Get it all off of there. Yeah. That's the first little coat getting off. Make sure some got on the body. That's okay. It's food grade mineral oil. It's not hurting anything. This is where I will add a little bit of pressure and do a little. I'm not considering this a scrub really. This is just pressure wipe down the fretboard. Let's see how much dirt. You're not going to be able to see that. Uh, you can see a little bit. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of dirt right there on that cloth. That's And it's been at least four months since I've done this last. So wash your hands before you play your bass. Makes your strings last longer. And your bass will appreciate you. Man, that's it. I got it off. Look at that. I'm restringing my bass with some Dunlop stainless steel super brights. Performance is everything. Got the strings on it and first time touching the bass since. Make sure and get the rest of that oil off of there. It just gets everywhere. I really hate it, honestly. Look at that sexiness. Thank you, Brian Daggett, for this awesome snark. BAM! Oh, yeah! And just like that, people, my fretboard is conditioned. So remember, only use food grade mineral oil. Don't use lemon oil on your fretboard. Also, don't do it too frequently. It's really best for your finger oils to rub off onto the fretboard and just let that happen naturally. Your fingers will condition your fretboard. But also, make sure you wash your hands and don't get, you know, a bunch of like cheeseburger grease on your base, which I tend to do. I love cheeseburgers at the beach bar. That's it. It's really simple. Don't overthink it. Get some food grade mineral oil. Don't do it too often and your base is going to stay in tip top shape.